Immunology is part of every bit of our lives now. It's just remarkable. This is a great time to be an immunologist. The idea that the immune system would be the perfect treatment against cancer is a very old idea. However, in the early days, experiments were done and what they showed was the immune system did not see developing cancers. By the time we had gotten into the field, we had an incredible range of new technologies and new models. And so we decided to go backwards and to repeat exactly those same experiments. And sure enough, we were able to show that the immune system did see cancer. The immune system could protect against cancer, but also shape the immunogenicity of tumors that form. That was a very unpopular idea and really important immunologists and, and cancer biologists at the time just kept saying we were wrong. And so that was the challenge to show that our results were correct and it was the paradigm that was wrong. And so for the next 10 years, we took this process apart. I think having a mechanistic basis for this process really convinced some of our detractors that this was real. What we had shown was that there is a natural function that allows the immune system to interact with tumors and control them and shape them. And that then abutted very nicely to the work that was being done by some of our colleagues developing things in humans trying to do cancer immunotherapy. They were showing that due to this immune dysfunction in which the brakes got put on the immune system. Now you see that the cancer grows out. One of the great things about immunotherapy is it is able to control cancers where no other drug has been able to control them. Melanoma is probably the best example where stage four melanoma, there is no other drug that can effectively treat in a durable fashion a patient with stage four melanoma. If we were 30 years ago, that was a death sentence. Now we're having patients living 30, 40 years cancer free. And we've never been able to control this powerful system as well as we can now. And the interesting and exciting thing is, is it's just gonna get better as we go along. So the big question is, how can we make cancer therapy, immunotherapy, more specific, more effective and safer? And that's what's guiding our current work in the lab now. We should be able to develop, because we're immunologists, a vaccine. We could vaccinate a patient. First, a patient who has cancer, ultimately maybe an actual preventative vaccine for cancer. And this was a pipe dream, it had been tried before. Now we can determine the full genome of a tumor. So we have an opportunity for the first time of making a vaccine against the tumor cells specifically with no ill effects. We come to work every day, hoping that we find something new. That's the best thing about being a scientist. We're pushing back the boundaries and everything now is team science and everyone has their own areas of expertise and that we come together and put our ideas together and when you hit it, you know, when you get that aha moment, it's incredibly exciting. So there's always something going on here that, that you sort of walk away going, I can't wait until tomorrow. <laughs>